all right guys so uh, now we want to get our domain name and hosting and uh, before you choose a domain name of course since this uh, program is targeted at businessmen i believe you are going to use your business name uh, but please make sure at least you carve it out in such a way that it's easy to remember for the customer you know make sure it's not too long or too i mean too too cumbersome to remember and uh, this is what we are going to do in this training we're going to use two hosting platforms we're going to get our domain from one and then use hosting from the other one but if you are on a low budget and you want to use the local hosting uh, as i've explained before what and what to consider before choosing uh, domain and hosting uh, so if you want to use local hosting which i uh, recommend uh, true host then the link i've been given you can get both your domain and hosting from TrueHost. Uh, but if you want to follow exactly what I'm using, you can get your domain from TrueHost and then we get hosting from uh, InterServer. So to be, uh, you know, just my example in this training, not by order of importance, but you know, we all know that uh, look, uh, international, international hosting uh, most time better than local hosting just that uh when we are just starting out as a young businessmen and women we can still start uh, with uh, a local hosting you know as it is said you should not be afraid of a little beginning okay so we head over to um true host where we'll get a uh, hosting i mean our domain name so i already made the research a little research of um, uh, the name I want to use for this uh, particular tutorial so I did a little research here and uh, I decided to go with this one that has uh, 100 to 1k so head over to this place I'm just going to come to you know once we get to this screen I'll come down here and make a search so I'm going to put in the domain name I want to use. Please, there should be no space when you are typing your domain name. So I'm using .com.ng. This is one of the reasons why you may even have to use this. And that is why I decided to uh, use this method. Because I know many of us will be doing a... Uh, uh, .com.ng or maybe .ng or .africa and all those uh, domain extension I just mentioned they are not on InterServer and they are not even on most of the international hosting companies so you can get it locally and then you connect it to your hosting in the other area okay so we hit search and I believe this should be available um so this will load and uh, it will conduct a search and tell us okay so we can see that this is not available okay so uh can we go for the other one so let's say wordpress tutorial So WordPress tutorial.com.ng. Okay, so this one is available. WordPress tutorial.com.ng is available and it's going for 1k. So uh, I think the search volume is the same thing. So I'll go for that. Uh, so once I've done that, I will just click on add to cart. So since this is the only thing we are getting here if we are to get hosting we can uh just continue with other uh steps so we go to checkout and uh, we can click on this 
and uh, email forward if you want to hide protect yeah if you want id protection then you have to pay for it that is you don't want people to know who registered uh, this domain okay so i'm going to click those two and then we come here and click continue okay so once we have done this the next thing is to click on checkout so it's going to ask us to fill this detail just like you buy from every other online shopping fill in your name your that is your first name your last name email address phone number company name is optional if you have if you don't have street address city state nigeria so this one is already there and if you are not in nigeria then you pick your country from here okay so um all, all of this put in your sms phone number and uh, of course a, a very good and strong password and then you click average and then you can click complete on that but bef uh, because i have an account with a uh, true host i'm not going to create another account i'll just click on this place and say sign in as a uh, bolaji james so i'm going to choose my account it will log in and uh, so it will ask me for my authenticator um, code so i want to suggest and i want to employ you to also add authentication to your true account uh, seven eight four eight seven five seven oh sorry it has changed okay so let me enter the new one eight two six two two seven okay so i'll log in now there was a time someone try to hijack my uh, account i believe it's because of the tutorials i used to do on youtube so maybe somebody watched it and he felt that the only way to repay me is to hijack my account or probably it could be an innocent uh, stop maybe the person just followed word for word used my email thought that that, that was how to do it so um so i had to you know find a way to regain my account and then i added an uh, extra protection by uh adding a 2fa to my account okay so i encourage you to do the same so once i've done that you can see i'm now logged in and uh, this is the amount due and then i can say complete order So I should correct the folder so I, I must accept so okay complete order okay so this is going to open up and uh, it's going to lead me to where I'm going to pay so for this one for true host you can use any card any of the bank cards in Nigeria we we'll do this uh, but for the other one I'll tell you how to sort that when we get there although as for me I'm using a card from a cheaper cash to pay for both I'm going to use my Nigerian NGN card for, um, for the first one here and uh, i'm going to use the usd card for the other one so let me enter this um, seven. so i'm going to blow this out Okay. Uh, so once I do that, put in the expiry date and then my CV, CVV. So once I click on that, uh, I'll click to pay 
and it's going to redirect me it's going to redirect me so that uh, the card I'm using will authenticate they will send me an OTP to complete the procedure or the purchase so I've gotten it so I'm going to enter it here which is uh, 8515 8515 8976 okay so I'm going to submit okay so it's submitting processing 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 and uh, the payment should be successful so it's successful we have this so i already have my alert so and this will ask you say send anyway send anyway and uh, it will take me back in my email i already have uh, this so you can see this uh, received from trust has come in and invoice payment on the rest. So if I go back to um, true host here, I can just type in true host again and then go back to the main page. So I will log back in again. So log back in within my uh, email or oh, I just use this I can put in my email and password but let's just not waste that time so I'm going to use my Google Authenticator once again and uh, it's a 968109 okay so I'll log in okay so now you can see how many domain i have here so you can see uh when i say i recommend this is something i use i still have a lot of clients work on this so if i go to my domain now if i go to my domain list now the domain we just bought should be in the list so uh we go through and then you can see the one we just bought now you will see that it says no ssl this uh, detected but it's okay so now this is what we do this is what we do we just leave this here and then we move on to the next step uh so the next step is for us to head over to uh inter-server okay so uh this is inter-server and uh, once you click on the link in the description of the video you get to this screen so make sure you follow the screen so that you can get this 60 percent off the web hosting uh and one thing uh why we're using this uh, i explained deeply in the last video uh the things to consider before choosing a uh, hosting okay so i believe you have watched that video if not make sure you watch it uh, before taking this procedure although there's nothing special there that there, and i mean there's nothing risky there that if you don't watch you are at risk no okay so um once we are here now all we need to do is take a look at this place we're paying 2.5 dollar per month for this which is the best thing you can get anywhere on the internet for a good hosting that can stand beside inter server if there's any other good hosting that can stand beside them none of them accept this price okay so we click on buy now So I'm going to copy that domain name from here. 
So I'm going to copy it. We say copy, come to this place and uh, paste, and we say continue. Okay, so now it's confirmed, and uh, you can see that uh, it's also asking us to fill in all these uh, details. So I'm going to fill in all of these details like this, and uh, it's saying that uh, the total we have to pay is uh, thirty dollars uh, because for twelve months. So for me, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're just going to pay for one month, just a test. Uh, to show you how this goes so and don't forget it's going to renew at a seven dollar per month at the end of expiration whether you take one year one month six months or three years okay so uh for me i'm not going to fill all of this because i have an existing account so i'm going to click on login to existing account so you just fill all these details and uh, you open a new account so for me uh, since I have an account, I'm logging in now. Okay, so I'm going to provide my password. So it has a captcha here. So so I should pick boot so we can see a boot here. Uh, this is another one, and this is another one, and this is another one. So we hit verify, okay, and then we click on sign in. Meet Mr. BJ at gmail.com okay so let me do that again okay so probably i made a mistake so motorcycle now we hit verify and then we sign in So normally, normally, um, InterServer will ask you uh, for a code that they will send to your email. So, but because I recently signed in a few minutes ago before I started recording, so that's why it's not asking me. It will send, normally they used to send uh, a code to your, um, what is it called? To your email to verify so now that i'm here i can now uh buy that uh, domain again so if i say this is web hosting so from my web hosting i say order now So you can see it here now. This is web hosting direct admin. So standard web hosting power by direct admin control panel, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to click on this place. So I'm going to say buy now. So in your case, since you are just coming in, you will not have all of this uh, issue. So we just come down here. This is the billing circle one month, which I've already chosen earlier. So the domain name that is asking me to enter the domain name again. So I'm going to paste the domain name and the, the month has been chosen. And then I'll just click continue. So it says registered, continue if you own it. So I own it, I'll click continue. So 
So as you can see, I'm going to pay $2.5. So I will agree. And then I will place order. Okay, so this is it. I will just come down here. I'll click, uh, and then I'll just come down here and select card. So it says I should add a card. Should add a card. So I'm going to add a card. So I'm going to add my USD card. Let me view the details. So I'm going to blow this out as well. Type in my USD card. Okay, so type that in and uh, put in the expiry date. Then the CV. Um, so I'm going to change this address here to three five zero um. Okay, so I'm going to add the credit card. And uh, once it is added, I'll say no thanks. Uh, then I will be able to make payments. Select card. And then I'll select this card. And then it will ask me for the CV to confirm. And I'll put it and uh, pay now okay okay um We don't have your CC on file. Please click the manage credit card link. Wow. So Okay, all right, so um, let me change my address to the address on the card. Mm. Okay, so I want to update my address and then so the info has been updated. Let me try again. So 
I'll select this and see what it's saying again. Okay. Okay. This has been verified, so let's see. Let's edit it. Okay, so the name is correct. Okay. So, 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 so. okay so transaction successful probably that was due to network or um but i think it, it has to do with the billing address that was on my uh, account before so you have to make sure that the billing address that you are filling here is the same thing with the card you want to use um which uh, I suggest we use um, cheaper cash. So now this has uh, has been successfully paid. Activation complete. The process, the service activation process was able to complete successfully. Okay, so we can go back to our dashboard. Can go back to our dashboard now. So now that the payment is successful. Yes, go back to our dashboard. Okay, so we can now see that uh, web hosting, we have one service here now. So we have one service. So what we do is click on this, the web address, click on it. And uh, if you look at this place, we have what we call name servers. So the next thing we need to do now is to link this name servers to a domain that is on another uh, hosting platform. Okay, so we go back to domains. Go back to domain. Now come to this particular one here and then say manage name servers. Manage name servers. Click on the arrow here and click manage name servers. Now this will appear. All you need to do is come back to this your dashboard on uh, the inter server interface. Copy this. Bring it here. The first one here. Yeah, highlight it and paste that one there. Come back. Pick the second one again. Okay. Copy it and then come back and paste on the second one then for the third one we do what we just remove it since we are given only two so we remove every other thing here and then we say change name servers wow 
what happened let's refresh say error connection closed okay so changes saved successfully so you can see that the changes have been saved successfully now what we are doing here is that the domain name we bought from a different place is now being pointed if those domain are uh, those are name servers we have there before are the ones for true so if you are buying both hosting and uh, domain name from the same place you wouldn't need to do all of that so having done this the next thing is for us to uh explore the the c panel the c panel is the next thing i will want to work on and that will be in the next video so see you in the next video